Hey, this is Sonny from Jax. We are at Jax in Bullockson, Mississippi. Jax Comic Toys and Games. With me is Andrew. Andrew has a, um, was it a little set up at the flea market, right? Yeah. In uh, Mid Avenue? Yes, sir. We're at uh, Mid Avenue Flea Market. We're working on getting a building to be a permanent structure out there. What's, the, what's it going to be called? Crazy Comics and Creation. Crazy Comics! Crazy Comics in Minge Avenue in Long Beach. But here today we are going to do a box opening. We just got this in from CBCF. We got 30 slabs to talk about. So without further ado, we're gonna start cracking it open. Alrighty then. So a bunch of paper wadding. There it goes, you know, out the door. Alright. Then we're gonna have some, some plastic bubbles. Alright, we got the little there. Some more plastic bubbles. Uh, and one more bundle of plastic bubbling. Alright, it should be about there should be about 10 comic slabs a set. Because there's 30 total we got we sent out. So we don't know what order there is, so let's take a look ourselves here. We have about three more of these bundles out in the next few months. So you check us out. We're going to have some more coming in. Andrew here sent us a few off. So maybe a little while. Yeah. We right. are uh, we're working on getting some good inventory. Though. So we got you know roughly 20 books that's going to be coming back in maybe 16 weeks we'll have them. So we're working on it. All right. All right. Be careful not to, to damage the slab. Alright, let's put that away for a second. Alright, let's see what we got today. Alright, first one. Oh, looky here. Nice. Painted. Number one. Nice. What's up? I, got, I think I got a few copies of this. Man. Alright, looks like we have one, two, three, I think five. Ooh, look at here. What are the numbers? 9.8. So 9.8. Oh. 9.8. 9.8. Man, I got five 9.8s. Five. It's a nice day. You know, what's the point about Canaan number one? First Canaan Jarus versus Caleb Dune in his own title. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not huge on Star Wars. I know it because everybody knows it. Uh, it wasn't something I collected too much of, and, but I, I mean, everybody loves it. I love it. He's in the yeah. cartoon. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. Kane and the last final one is going to be in the cartoon, you know, oh, yeah. or he's already in it. That's awesome. But uh, why I sent these off in January, I sent them off in January this year, about almost five months ago now, four and a half months ago. They just came in. Uh, I want to say they were only booking about $50 an issue. Yeah. 50 okay. Well, right now on eBay, they're about 300 an issue, a 9.8. That's a big deal. I got lucky, got all five of them, 9.8. You see that? Look at it. That's one 9.8, two 9.8, three 9.8, four 9.8, five 9.8. That's fifteen hundred dollars. You can't can't argue with a uh -huh. personal grade, man. That's all. Woo. I think I, I think I have five more, but only five of them look good enough to send off. All yeah. right, that's some money there. Remember, it was only fifty bucks when I sent them off in January. It jumped up because the end of the Mandalorian, you know. Yeah. So yeah. the Mandalorian jumped a lot of stuff up on the speculation that other story arcs are going to come out and other people are going to make appearances. Yeah. See, the, uh, one of the last collections I bought had a uh, number 42 first Boba Fett. And I probably should have kept it, but, you know, the guy to come over and help us out, you know, bag and board, he, he really wanted it. So we uh, gave him a good deal. All right. What do you think about this? This is Star Wars High Republic. The High Republic. First appearance of uh, Keeve Trennis, Siskar, and Avar Chris. 9.8 here. Man, 9 alternate 8. cover. See right there. Yeah. All right. So 9.8, it's two of them. Now this book was about 30 bucks when I sent it off. It's about 200 now. That's so, great. so they jumped up a lot. Again, it's a Star Wars tie-in. The High Republic is uh, canon, and it may be in a TV show or movie one day because it is canon. Man, that's great. Got lucky, right? Lucky, you lucky. Get lucky, man. It's I packed, it, well. I packed it really well though. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so next thing we're gonna talk about is this Venom 32. Wow. What do you think about Venom 32? I love Venom. I don't know who that is. I gotta look up my notes. But someone sent that off 
turn around for the camera. I've got, see some, what you I've got some really nice venoms at the, uh, at the house and with me today, actually. Mm -hmm. So 9.2, I was hoping to get a little bit better for somebody, but hey, you know. Can't argue, man, 9.2 is always nice. So whoever's gonna be kind of happy. I mean, it's a, um, I don't know. Ant, no, an agent anti-venom cameo. It may be a cameo for, you know, whatever. Yeah. All right, so Everybody. the next one. Looks like Walking Dead. It is the Walking Dead Deluxe. Number one. 9.9, .9, look here. 9.9, .9, Walking that's, Dead Deluxe. That's rare. You tell me. I thought, I thought I was going to get like a 9.6, 9.8. lucky. Um, but man, 9.9. .9, oh, what do you think this book's going to go for? Walking Dead Deluxe 9.9, .9, that's probably easy 100 bucks. Maybe 200 bucks. Yeah. I mean, it's not the original number one, right? No, it's the Deluxe. Yeah. So it's all full color. Okay. So everything in the book, cover and interior, is color. Nice. Yeah, plus it's gold embossed. I think this is going to be the um, retailer exclusive. Yeah. They it's the seventh that. cover. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's the G cover. Yeah. So this is the G cover. Man. Nice, huh? 9.9. Very nice. 9. Very nice. Mm -hmm. We're already getting a 9.9, huh? It's hard to get a 9.9. All right. Oh, hell. 361. Oh, hell. This is... This is 361. Already, Tell me about 361. I already knew about. I already knew what it was. Tell me what it is. First uh, Carnage appearance. First I Carnage mean, appearance. And you know about the movie coming out, the Venom uh, with uh, Carnage. And what do you think a 9.8 first Carnage appearance is going to be? I mean, the book itself is going high right now. I mean, 100 bucks, 200 bucks. Higher than that. I mean, hell. Uh, the what the raw is going for? What 550? This is a 9.8 available at Jacks. 9.8. What yeah. do you think? I got lucky, huh? I'd say easy. I hope it's mine. I, I, it may be in a customer's. That's a nice I, I don't remember having one this good looking. 9.8. Man. I the last one I got was like 9.4, maybe. My, my buddy's got the uh, second print. You got a 9.8 version sent off? I, I don't, no. Oh. No. My buddy's got the second print. Well, if you print. did, $1,000. Yeah. Easy. $1,000, 9.8. Hey. Mm-hmm. All right, that's the first bundle. We had some excitement there. Let's see what the next bundle's gonna look like. Man, the first cadence are nice though. Man. Five nine points for those boys. I mean, I'm sure we're gonna have some disappointments in here though, because we can't get that lucky every time we open a book like everybody else for a nine point eight. Yeah. But you know, sometimes we send it off, we know we're not gonna get it, because obviously it's not that good looking when we send it, so we know we're not gonna get nine point eight on everything. Honestly, I'm happy with yeah, I mean seven, man. I'm happy. I don't I don't necessarily have to get a nine point eight, you know. It's all so about I, just preserving them to me. But you so. see how many nine points like we just got? Oh yeah. That's me packing good. That's great. I don't I don't skimp on the packing. That's that's when I ship books, me too. I, I pack them, you know, nicely to where when they arrive, they arrive how I, how you seen them. Mm-hmm. Alright, here's the second bundle of the box opening. Let's see what we got here. Alright. Let's see if we got any doubles. Oh, we got a couple doubles. All right, here we go. Tell me about this comic. Uh, this is Star Wars. The Star Wars, uh, same number cover. 68. Number 68. What, what, what's important about Star Wars number 68? I couldn't tell you right off. I'm going to help you out. Okay. I'm going to help you out. All right. Second cover experience of Bubble Fett. The second, okay. All right. All right. So yeah, I had the first. It says, I mean, first and cover appearance of Finn Shia. First mention of the Mandalore and Mandalorians in the expanding universe. And Dengar appearance. Man. But this is that car second appearance of Boba Fett. Okay. On the cover. Okay. I think it's his third appearance overall. Right? Yeah. Man, honestly, I got back into collecting big mm. in January. Mm. And I'm trying I'm trying to learn so much more that right. I ever yeah. thought I'd have to. Well I got a nine I got an eight point oh and four point five. Four point five. I just got it because, you know, it just got it. But hey. yeah, the eight point oh got us a sellable. And it's 4.5 gonna, is, is affordable. Yeah. You know, affordable. See, I, I like having you know, some that are affordable for people, and that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. All right, so this is 81. All right, this is number 81, Star Wars 81. Mm -hmm. I only got a 4.0. I don't remember the grading note said, but it ain't it ain't too good. 4.0. Staples might look a little rolled because they pulled a little the bit. The reason I got this, this is the return of Boba Fett. 81 is the story that Boba Fett comes out of the Strolak pit. So we all knew Boba Fett survived after the movie. A lot of people didn't worry the comic book, didn't know that Boba Fett survived. They saw he died in the Strolak pit. 
after he got kicked off the sail barge and fell in there, right? But this is when he comes out of the Starlight Pit. So we know years ago he, he survived. We just didn't know when he's gonna come back into the TV show. But this is number 81. 4.0 is not, it's very affordable. So it's not that pricey. Oh, let's see what happens next. Oh, I have another one, 6.5. Nice. So I have two Starlight Pit issues. Yeah. Oh, look, I got a third one. Look, let me pull this one back. I got 9.0. How many oh, of these? I got three. Nice. So I got a four point, what is it? 4.0, a 9.0, what you got over there? 6.5. Six point well, a 9.0, hell, that's going to be $100. You Easy. know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, that's yeah. a good price on Return that. Return of Boba Fett. Let's roll like this. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be canon now because I obviously survived in the TV show. TV show, we're talking about the Mandalorian, by the way, can't. All right, I think we have a couple of Power Rangers. Right? Power Ranger number ones. Nice. Oh, there you go. These are Power Ranger number ones, one per store. Man, this is a one per store variant. Yep. Both nine point eight. Nice. Came out last year. Very beautiful copy. Um. Mm hmm. All right, so we got those ready to go. Maybe we'll bring them to the show and get somebody to sign the outside of them. I've been asked so many times about Power Rangers, and I've only had one. Huh. All right. This is steak number one. I got 9.8 on it. Steak is from Scout Comics. I believe it was almost optioned for some kind of TV show, but I don't think it's gone through yet. Yeah, with Netflix or uh, yeah. Paramount. It's a vampire it's steak. is a vampire comic book. But it's issue number one, so we thought it's going to be something we don't know yet. In hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have done it, but maybe there are no speculations about that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see what else we got here. All right. Oh, oh, hell, man. Look here. The Star one Wars 42. The one I let go. Not the exact one, but yeah. I hope it was. I'm going to find the person that sold this to me because it's missing a page. Man. Now look at no, it. This ain't the one. Yeah, this ain't the one. Yeah, it's missing a page. Missing page, I think. 12 and 13 and 13 and 14. Missing two pages. Mine was an easy 8.5. This is a point five. That's because it's missing page 13 and 14. It mm -hmm. doesn't affect the story. Yeah. But anytime a comic book is missing a page, the highest it can get is a point five. Yeah. It is not complete. Non-complete comics are point fives. Yeah. But it looks okay on the front. On the front, I would say it's probably about a three. Yeah. But you know, we got it because my. I just had it in my thing, and you know, I'll probably still sell for two bucks. Hey, you know, that's not bad. It's, it's encased. I mean, the first parents of what? Boba Fett. First Boba Fett, number 42. There it is. I know that one uh, good because that's one of the ones that I, I wish I would have kept. Well, look, but you know, oh, 5.0. Wow. 5.0, number 43. This is a big Star Wars grading box issue thing, whatever. But 43 is the first parents of what? Help me out here. Lando Carissian. Lando, yep, and you're having Lando is going to be in Billy D. Williams. He's going to be in Jackson Comic Con next month in June. Yep. So I thought about bringing up the outside the case. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, that'd still be great. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't have to have a yellow label. I just need to sign the case. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But this is the first appearance of Lando Carissian at a 5.0. 5 it's probably going to run about, I don't know, about 80 bucks maybe. Hey, that's not bad. I mean, if I wanted to get case subs, I don't want people matching with it too much. Yeah. All right, so those are some of my low grades that come out. I knew they were going to come out low. I got one more bundle of 10, I think. Let's get to it. All right. So how long before your, uh, your setup's going to be done at the, uh, the flea market? Actually, I just got the message this morning. Uh, the lady's working on moving out, and uh, we're going to be in. She's going to be out the 1st first, uh, first of July, so we're going to... You know, we got a little bit of work to do on it, and uh, we're going to set it up really nice and comfortable, and uh, hopefully we'll be in it within two weeks of uh, her moving out. So, so middle of July. What's that? Middle of July? Uh, yeah, so around the middle of July. I'll be out there with a booth, though, uh, until then. So, you know, All right. uh, find me out there with a booth until we get a permanent building. And I got some really, really nice uh, books right now. All right, so. Yeah, yeah. let's talk about here a little bit. All right, looks like we got some JDF stuff back. All right. All right, let's get it, let's get it. All right, 
Now, Jay's Never Frank had a store signing in uh, Slidell at Showcase Comics on January 24th. So these books are from his store signings. Um, I brought some things up there, you know. I volunteered to do the expounder, take the photographs, keep everybody in line, make people go forward, you know. So I volunteered to help out at shows yeah. that aren't mine. So I uh, went down to Showcase Comics, helped him out. So he signed a couple things for me as, as being a volunteer for the day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's pretty cool. So what I did was, looks like I got four of these Power Ranger number 55, the Lord Zed appearance. They all signed by Jason David Frank. They all came back in a 9.8. Signed by Jason David Frank, 9.8, Lord Zed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had a 9.6 Ninjak, number one, uh, second printing of the uh, Weaponeer with the uh, Jason David Frank signature. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that was a nice one. He also signed this alternate cover from Mighty Morphin Power Ranger 55. But this is a green Power Ranger cover. I believe he's on it. He's in the suit. I like the green, uh, the yeah. green marker. Nine point eight also. Now these run about a hundred bucks, uh, a minimal because yeah. the grading costs about thirty five to fifty dollars on it. Depends on on you know how you got it graded. Yeah. And the his signature is about fifty bucks. Oh yeah. So they, they come out signed at nine point eight at a minimal one hundred bucks. Sometimes nice. they go more, like one hundred fifty two hundred dollars. Yeah, depends on what issue it is. Yeah. Depends on the value of the issue itself. But this here, if I put this online, signed in green by Jason David Frank, Jason David Frank, and the word Tommy below it, that's probably two hundred dollars. You know, that's nice. Right. Nice copy. All right. Let's see what we all looking at here. All right. Looks like we have some more last Canaan or the last Padawan Canaans. Looks like we have additional four more nine points. Hold those up for a second. Nice. And we have an alternate cover from Bam exclusive from Second of Charles. And this is also a 9.8. So we got five more last, <laughs> last Padawan. Ten total. Ooh. You remember, a, that's a lot of Padawan. When they came out, when I sent them off, they're only about 30 bucks. But since I put these out, the Mandalorian series came and went, and it just jumped everything up that's, that's Star Wars related to it. Oh, yeah. So that was a good deal. So, yeah. so ten. 9.8, last title on. You never know what you're going to get when you buy a collection. Man, it's, it's a gamble. I mean, honestly, I mean, if you didn't look at all of them, it's a gamble. And, uh, yeah, all right. Nice thing. Again, we are at Jack's in Biloxi, Mississippi. I'm Sonny, and this is Andrew talking about some CBCS comic grading. Stay tuned. In about another week or so, we're going to have another video with the next shipment coming in. Until then, y'all have a great day. Have a good one.